Hey guys, welcome to screencast number 18. This is Opamanyu and today we'll be talking about how you can minify or you can shave off some pounds of your CSS files in order to make your websites load quickly and also make your websites lightweight. Now there are numerous CSS libraries out there which makes your designing process much, much, much more simpler. There's Inuit CSS, there's Bootstrap CSS, and numerous other libraries. Now the CSS selectors contained in the libraries, most of the selectors are not used by the web page that we are building or designing. Now what to do with those extra selectors? Those unused selectors is the reason that your CSS file becomes bulky. And in turn, the page load times often suffer due to bulky multiple CSS files. Now today we will be talking about Purify CSS. Now Purify CSS is a JavaScript file. Now what it does is that it cross-references all your selectors that are used in your HTML, PHP and even JavaScript files. And the unused selectors, whatever is there in the CSS files that you specified, it just shaves off all the unused selectors from the CSS file, which in turn reduces your CSS file size by a substantial amount. Now to get ahead and use Purify CSS, we first need to install Purify CSS. Now there are two ways you can install Purify CSS. One is from the GitHub repo. It is made by Kenit. Uh, so you can clone this repo and install Purify CSS manually. Also the second option is installing via Node.js or the NPM package manager. And I think the second option is a bit more relevant as well as it is a bit more simpler even. Now to do that, we must fire up our terminal first and we must install Purify CSS. So we'll start by the node package manager, npm, install, install it globally for all users and we'll install Purify CSS. So if this command doesn't work for you, you can run the same command but with a sudo at the beginning which will add administrator access to it. So as you can see, Purify CSS version 1.1.9 is installed successfully. Now all that remains is testing Purify CSS on some file that will give us a clear picture of whether it works or not or whether it does what it says. Now on my desktop, I have a folder called Purify CSS which contains an index.html page and a CSS folder with a full version of the bootstrap CSS file. Now, if I open the index.html, you can see it's a nice simple page. It's one of the examples from the bootstrap example library. It has a nav bar, it has some links, it has a drop down, search bars, nice custom fonts, some buttons, and some columns that are there. It also has a footer. Now, this is using a bootstrap full.css file. Now, you can see it contains almost 9,500 lines of code and it contains many many selectors that are not being used by this particular theme. Now what we can do is we can shave off all the unnecessary selectors from the bootstrap full.css using Purify CSS. Now for that we must first go into the directory. So I'll change the directory to desktop and Purify CSS. So once we are in the directory we can now run the command. So we'll start by Purify CSS. We will specify the path to the original CSS file which we want minified and all the unnecessary classes removed. So it is situated in the CSS directory and it's called bootstrap full.css. We will also specify the name of the files that we want analyzed and cross-referenced for which are the selectors currently being used. So that will be our index.html. But we can add some further options that are optional, but it is better that we add these options. So if we want our output CSS file to be minified, we will add a min command. And also we will specify an output directory. So that would be CSS in the CSS directory and the output file will be called bootstrap purify.css. We are done with the command and we will put an info command so that we get the information about what it is doing, how much the CSS file has been reduced and how much time it took. So if I run the command, you can see it says that purify CSS has reduced the file size 
by 74.7%, which is quite a huge number. And the function took uh, 274 milliseconds. Now, if I go into my folder of purified CSS, you can see the original CSS file is 192 kilobytes, whereas the purified version is 36 kilobytes. So that's almost five times less than the original file. Now, if I look at the code editor, if I open up the full version of the bootstrap file, you can see it already contains 9320 lines of code. And if I look at the purified version of the bootstrap file, you can see it only contains six lines of code. Well, it contains more than six lines of code, but since we have specified the main command, so it removed all the white spaces to further uh, decrease the file size. So it has congested everything into one line. So it contains more than six lines of code, but yeah, the editor only recognizes six lines of code. So you can see how much we have removed and it's not a large file even. And if I change the path of the CSS file in the index.html and change it to bootstrap purified and save the index.html file and go into the browser and refresh this page, you can see now it's using the purified version of the bootstrap, but nothing has changed. Everything looks absolutely fine. Now, Purify CSS does what it had promised. It almost reduced our file size by 74%, and it also shaved off all the unnecessary CSS selectors that were present in our Bootstrap CSS file. Now, with that, we come to an end to the screencast. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you like my videos in general, uh, do subscribe to my channel to get further videos at a later amount of time. I know I have not been regular, enough, but there are some subscribers that do subscribe to my channel and do like my videos. So I'll try to keep uploading uh, videos at a regular interval for them. And for you, if you like my videos, you can also follow me on my social media pages. All the links to my social media pages is given in the description below. So that completes our video. This is Upamunyu signing off. Thank you.